Hey guys, it's Paul. I'm going to answer Don Franco's question in the Zoho CRM Quick Start free training. And he asked, how can I create a report with specific details that you want included? Can you have a report automatically created, say, every week, which is autom automatically emailed to your others in your organization? And yes, you can. It's very easy to do. So log into your CRM, go to reports and... There's obviously a lot of different reports already there. There might be one that suits you, uh, you know, pipeline by stage. And then you can edit this report if you want. You can change it. You can duplicate that. Sometimes the easiest way might be to duplicate it and then add your settings or whatever you want. But you're saying, can you create a report? So we're going to go back and do this, right? So we're going to go... Uh, doo -doo. We're going to do create report up in the corner here. And we're going to say, let's do a deals report, right? Because that's probably mostly uh, what's going to happen. So we're going to go deals here. And then you can pick whichever information you want. So we might put, um, what we're going to put, account, contact name, stage, history, maybe not, kind plays, product, quotes, sales orders. Um, Email active users. Let's put stage history. You cannot select more than three. Rela oh, these are modules. Sorry. Yeah. So we want the, we want to pull from the counts. We want to pull from the contacts. So what else has I've done this? Uh, and then, do we want the quotes or anything? We don't really need anything more. So let's go continue. Uh, tabular report. Obviously, you can do summary or matrix. And then what information do you need? So you've got those modules you selected and we're going to add. So we may, we may report deal name, the stage, the account name, the last name. I don't think we need. Let's get rid of that one. We want the amount. Uh, bathrooms, bedrooms, these are all custom fields. Deal owner, uh, modified, move in date. Oh yeah, I've got a lot of like real estate stuff here that's maybe all you need but select from here all your account information is going to be here so maybe if you wanted to put something like the phone number on there or the email so you can just quickly email them from there that obviously it'll be in the contact something like that you can add it any filters where you want to say show me the last so many days or anything like that you can do it uh, and then you can name the report select the folder so put it in the deals I'll call it deal test, save, and then that'll show us that deal test, right? So this is obviously the date, the deal name, and everything. And we can send that to uh, select re recipient. So if I want to send it to me, I can save and send. So when I go to mail.zoo, obviously if, if you're set up your own email at Gmail or something like that, it will come. Uh, new product on the way. Has it gone yet? But, so the question, let me, uh, let's see. Uh, select. While that's on its way, what we want to do is go back and we want to schedule that report, right? So this deal test, you want it to go out every so often, right? So what you need to go here is, is it, it's not as obvious and so I could probably make a separate folder for the scheduled reports. But here, click on Schedule Reports and click New Report Schedule. Find that report. As you can, we can type in here Test, and it'll come up. This deal test report. Choose how do we want to send it? PDF, um, XLS spreadsheet, um, XLS Excel spreadsheet or a CSV. When do we want it to start? So we want it to go out. Say. Uh, Monday morning at like 10 a.m. Repeat every week. Ends. So if you don't want it to ever end, you let it go. If you just want to do it for a year, obviously do 52 here or put a date in. But let's just say never. And we're going to send a report via email. Here we go. We can add all the people in our organization that are on the CRM. We can add, you know, um, 
if I want it to go to a sales team, let's do sales. I can do sales at um, like Z1 trial. It's not a real address that. So I can add more. And I think it says, yeah, so if I comma, I, then I can go um, um, uh, I don't know, let's CFO. Maybe the CFO wants to do it at z1trial.com. So I can add people that are not on your, uh, not users inside your, make sure you comma that to claim it and schedule it. And that now is running and will every week, 10 a.m. every week, it will send the report. Obviously, if you want to edit or stop it, those are your options. You can edit it, change it. There isn't, like, you'd think there'd be a test button, wouldn't you? You'd obviously test it by um, setting it for the next minute to send, right? But once you finish, you can stop it. You can see stopped, and then you can uh, delete it here, right? So if you don't need it anymore, delete it. So it's really easy to do. Did that? There's that email that came with that report. So here's the PDF of that report. So hopefully that makes sense. So what you do is create your report, tinker around with it. Hopefully it's pretty easy to find the files you want, the fields. And there's so many pre-made reports. As I say, you can quickly you know popular this is a that's probably a stupid one to click on um lead reports lead by status you might want to duplicate it but if you want to send your lead report by status scheduled reports new report choose the file lead oh in fact we go to lead reports we go lead by status we can pick that one pick the time and date who is going to go to and then we send it out hopefully that explains it Don Franco anybody else the Zoho CRM training course is 100% free if you go to pnuk.co forward slash pnuk.co forward slash Zoho CRM those are all the sign up links the training course links and everything and you can see everything's free just dive in and you can sign up because I'm already logged in. It'll probably, oh no, that's signing up for Zoho CRM. I didn't read what I was doing here. So here's the training and the forum that they're here. Click the training, jump past the advert that helps pay, and you can start. That's actually the certificate for um, introduction, but you'll see down the bottom here, free Zoho training that you can jump on and into, why can't you click on that? That's a bit stupid, isn't it? But yeah, I will sort that out as I lose my voice as everything doesn't work when I'm live. Sometimes when I'm logged in, it's a bit funky. Yeah, it's OCRM. Quick start training. It's 100% free. Jump in. Ask your questions on this Zoho video on YouTube. Ask in, um, in the training itself. Any lesson, you can go down the bottom and leave a comment and I will try to answer. And there is a Zoho One experience where if you go to the Zoho One experience forum you can fire your questions in there as well hopefully that helped keep your questions coming cheers